Hello, and welcome to the Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. Today we're going to do the tie rods for the gray drum drive garden tractor. Um, we have these tie rod ends, they're actually a set. They're a left and right hand thread, so when I do the tie rod with a left hand and right hand thread on either end, we can adjust the toe in and toe out. So let's get started, let's get the measuring done, and move over to the little monarch and do our thread. is we took this larger shaft and we turned down two and a quarter inches of it to our half inch starting point for our thread and then I just hand turned in that little chamfer uh, just made it look nice and that'll give it a little more rigidity um, less likely to break there because it's not a sharp corner um, now I've got my threading tool in here I'm going to set up the lathe for our 20 pitch thread and uh, we'll hand thread or we'll uh, single point thread this one for our uh, right hand end and then I'll switch it around and, and show how to set up for the left hand thread. part around where we got the threads are a nice tight fit. Um, we usually thread with our compound at 29 and a half degrees. Now we need to set it the opposite direction because we need to thread from the chuck out because this is not a reversible spindle. Um, it, that's the best way I've found. Just reverse your 29 and a half degrees and feet towards the tail stock for your uh, left hand thread. So here is our tie rod. 
with our right hand and left hand thread on each end. And uh, if you have any questions on how to set up for doing left hand threads, again, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I can explain that in a little more in detail. I might do another video on it eventually. Um, but this is just a quick one to get this project done. I wanted to get the tie rod on here so I could um, start working on the next step. So let's uh, get this assembled up and see how it works. steering system um, where the arms are at an angle usually they would come off the back but uh, I didn't have room with all the, the rest of the train that has to be here so when off the front you just continue your angle through your spindles measure that out where you want it and uh, go from there so pretty simple pretty straightforward uh, I still need to get some jam nuts to keep this together but it's fully adjustable just by turning the rod one way or the other brings it in brings it out and uh, the next thing we got to do is build the front tube that comes out with the steering linkage out here coming up to another tie rod and over and I'll have to weld another arm on. But uh, pretty, pretty simple design and uh, quite effective. So uh, feel free to follow us on Facebook at Topper Machine LLC. You can visit our website www.toppermachine.com. Um, and as always, feel free to reach out to me with any questions, any tips. Um, anything I can do better to, to make these videos better and uh, let's, uh, let's just get out in our shops and let's get it done right the first time. <laughs>